welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different in my on my channel I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my thumbnails in Photoshop um I use Photoshop CS6 to make my thumbnails and uh so let's get started um for my size or what I do for like the whole like little background thing I first go to file and I go to new and this is the sizing that I use on my thumbnail I use a 480 width and height is 269 for my thumbnails and you just put, hit OK I just start with a plain background and like to get like a cool background I just go to this tool over here which is like the gradient tool and I just go over here and um, I just this is the one I use is um, this one with like the blue the orange reddish and the yellow and I just change the colors you just click here and then you just change the colors to wherever you want it to but today I'm just going to use red I just got this um, preset already and you just hit when you get have all the colors that you need you just hit OK and what I do is just um, you hold shift and shift helps you get a straight line because um, if you don't do shift you just do like the all wobbly but I like to do shift so it's easier and um, and also with these more I also like Photoshop I mean I've been using Photoshop since I was you know little and stuff like that so Photoshop is more easy to me than GIMP and everything but um what I, also, what I was trying to say was what I like about Photoshop is um you it's it's easy to like manage and like you know easy to you know where certain things are and you know and uh where you know certain you know what if I, it's, it's easy to find things basically and uh, that's what i like about it and um what i do next is just i do add new layer which is over here create a new layer and like the layers are over here and um, go to Sam. I like to download poses, or some like some people do like um, screen like do screenshots through the game and do, like do funny interactions like that. You can do both ways. It really doesn't matter. It just it's it's just like up to your um, it's your um, preference. And um, so I just have my sim here, and I just have it. I use um, poses that are in Create a Sim, and it's have her choose a pose, like you know, go through all of them, and I just hit C to do the like the screenshot. Or some people like to do like print screen, like on like the little key. But I just like to do like a screenshot because it's easier to find in my screenshot folder. So what I do is um, when you first get Photoshop, well, like. Um, you'll see like this little magic wand tool you want to right click on your mouse and then you will want to go to quick quick selection tool you hit that and uh, what you do is um, just select any parts of your sim that you want to transfer basically like that and then you just hit the like the little mouse thing and you just drag it over to the photo and then you just have it there and it's easier and um what you want to do is just to size down your um, sim to fit the photo I mean the picture a little better if you want to go to edit and uh go to free transform or I or just hit control T whatever whatever's, whatever's um, easy for you you just hit that and then what I've learned is um when you try to size down like your sim 
it's pretty hard to do when it's just like all wobbly wobbly you know like that what I like to do is um whole shift and then drag because it, it, it makes it easier for you to um, control in my opinion and you just you know center it wherever you want it doesn't really matter you have to decide if you want or you can have it like to the other side or just have it in the middle I'm just gonna have her in the middle and then you just hit this selection tool and you just hit apply transformation and then there you go and then back and then like also like to um delete the background where the sim came from you want to go back to the quick selection tool and right click and go to the magic wand tool and what you want to do is just hit just click on the area where you do not want like from the background and you just hit delete on your keyboard and you can do that wherever you feel like what you want to take away from the same picture and then to delete like the dotted air like the dotted lines over here you just go to select and deselect and um what i like to do is just you know shape up my sim i have to shape her up a little bit like make sure everything's nice and even you know sometimes things can get unproportionalized so you can just you know smooth her down if you like next I like to do is um, go to image and um, go to adjustment and do brightness slash contrast and um, I like to play around with this, you know, like some days I will, some, some sims I want to set the brightness up and like the contrast down or up, it really just prefers. I actually like that. Uh, so for her, I'm just going to have like the brightness at 53 and the contrast at, well, 4. And you just hit OK. And then I last like to do is um, go to filter and uh do go to sharpen smart sharpen and i just uh, play with the amount i like how my radius i like i i like um i just play around with like the settings on here just to, it's not really like not every time i do the same settings i just you know do whatever floats my boat one day or the other so you just hit okay and then she has a little smart little sharpened and then to give her and then like I give her a stroke well first I give her a drop shadow wood so I just go to over here go to FX drop shadow and it gives a little drop shadow effect and sometimes I play with the sizing yeah you just have to play with around with it like play with it like you know play with the sizing a little bit and that's about fair for me and then like I'll go to stroke to change the color of the stroke you have it red or blue it's all for your boat so I'm just gonna have it white I like it white because me um, personally white looks more professional in my opinion but you can have it whatever color you like and then also you can do bevel emboss on her, you know, or give her an inner shadow. And you just you just want to play around with Photoshop, you know. You just you have to find out what floats your boat, like what style of like what style of thumbnail that like, do you like your you know your thumbnail look, you know to look. So you hit OK, and uh, she looks pretty darn good. So far um now next I will next is like one of my favorite parts to do is that I always add like a glitter or like some type of brushes I do I get all my brushes from like um, deviant.com I'll have the link below and I also have like 
other styles of brushes that I like that I usually use you know just to see like if you like them or not and you can also probably tell them search them and download, download them yourself um but yeah for but um what I like to do is um I like to do is uh I like to do like the little spotted um dots or whatever it's called and uh or like you can do like a where is it I just saw it like a rising sun or like um stars like little bling if you like it's all up to you but um I but one thing I do wanna um point out here is um is the whole layers thing hang on okay you see here when you add a uh, when you add another layer you can you know add it you know like that and like you can take it away if you don't like it but if you do not add another layer it's just stuck on there or it just does a funny thing sometimes but um what I so I was just I was adding a layer so if you do not like something you can always take it away without starting all over so what I'm gonna do is just add some like you know little dots here and there and um, also with layer you can also move it so it can be underneath your sim see now see how like before like it's on her face and everything now if you move it under it's under her and um next i like to do is um i like to do like is a, a border like like a little border around here um i see months like, like multiple people do it differently and i've tried it their way it just seems so hard and so confusing for me to do it I, it just it's really hard for the way how they do it but what i find that what works for me is um going to the um, square dotted tool over here um, that works for me and um, before I do that I want to add another layer and uh, this little plus sign actually helps me you know get an even line so you just you know get it to where you where you want it and you know you just drag it across and then boom it's even and then you just let go and then what you want to do is right click and hit you know, click on stroke I like to do three like my what to be three um, you can you you choose your color to be any type of color anything like that but I like to do white and uh, I just hit OK and then now I right click again and I hit deselect and now it's underneath her because the, the layer went underneath her but if it was on top it would be on top of like on top of the picture and but I want it under and uh, what I like to do is when you go over here you can change like the opacity if you want to like more like dimmer down a little bit but I like to use that as 100% and then I change like the normal I usually do overlay because overlay looks better for me in my opinion so uh, yeah and then now it's time to add a text what I like to do is for text I mean you don't have to do it but I prefer to do it um, you just add a layer and you just move the layer on top if, it is, if it's not already on top already and you just hit the little text tool over here and you just uh, name what you want um I get all I, I some of these fonts I actually Google I get all my fonts from Google 
or but most of them are from are from dafont.com it's easy it's free you don't have to pay to get a font or anything like that it's safe I've been using it forever for years you know it's the only site that I know that I that I actually like the most but um with um when you're doing your fonts you want to make them big and bold so people can actually see them you know um and also um when you're doing your fonts don't try try your best no 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 it's hard because you don't really know but um try your best to um um not get like put your font like your like your text in this corner or this corner because this corner is where the watch um you know like you know like when you watch a video on YouTube this is where like it says watched on there no one can really see that because that that's the word over there and also this is where like the timing is at also so just remember that so just always like put that in your mind but it's always hard to like make to put it in the right um, area um so creating a layer and I'm going to text and uh, I'm just gonna name this Photoshop Tutorials. Photo, oh, shop. I'm gonna put that in Photoshop. But uh, I don't like the way how big that is. So I just, you know, if you okay, these um, these sizing is like a default sizing, but like. You can never get something that's like you know perfect what the perfect size you want so what I do is like I just highlight the whole entire text and I just you know um, do use like the up or down arrow keys on my on the, the keyboard and you just go down on it or up if you want to like a bigger you go up or down and um, you just do so the sizing whatever sizing you want and let's see if that's good eh, I mean it's okay and the same thing how like we added a drop shadow or a stroke on the, our sim we can do it on our text so just go to the same place and FX you just hit that and just hit drop shadow and uh, move this along and then you just change the sizing of it and uh, you add a stroke I actually like the black and um but um you can also do like the sizing of it a little bit you just gotta like play around with it because usually it's you know in between so I like that, and um, what I'm going to do next is um, add another layer for the tutorial part. Like, cause I, I like to use different fonts for different little things. So I'm just going to do that and um, put in tutorial. Highlight that, and I uh, think I want to use... Let's use Sweet Pea. And I'm actually gonna just try and find a font that I like. And also with certain fonts, try to read like the like the um the information on it because there's like little arrow annotations on them, like we can add little different little fancy things. Like if you press this button, it can do that. Like a, like the little um Hang on, let me see a font that doesn't do that. Like if you just press like this, like that, if you can see that, make it bigger so you can see. Like that, it can do different things. You just gotta read like what it does. But um, I actually didn't like the little swiggly line, so I'm just gonna use Chanel. Is it Ch channel or whatever it's called? <laughs> 
use that one and uh, I just use that I like this one personally and I might just make that a little smaller and just drag it on here and then um, you can actually if you click on Photoshop like for like to copy off like the the stroke and the olive glow and all that stuff like that you just click on here and you just right click and uh, copy layer and then you go here and you just right click again and you and you press um paste layer style and then boom it has the same thing but okay so for Photoshop for this tutorial purpose only I'm going to show you guys how to add the Sims 4 logo on here so what you want to do is go to Google now I wouldn't suggest using celebrity pictures or anything of that because it's copyrighted and you don't you, and you don't want to get copyrighted get copyrighted because um you know all those legal issues and some of that you don't want to do with that so you just select an image over a sim logo you like the best and um I just hit right click and I just copy image go back to um, my Photoshop go to edit and I just hit paste and I'm like whoa like this is so big don't worry you just go back to your edit or just hit CTRL which one you prefer plus T and um, you just hit free transform and um, you hold shift and now you just do the sizing oh okay hold on I do do the sizing of that hold on kind of mess that up a little bit okay don't apply go to okay I'm not used to talking and doing this at the same time, but um, you do a sizing that you like and you go to the, to the selection tool and you just apply. You go to the magic wand tool and you just hit where you don't want to, like all the black borders, and you just hit delete. And just delete all the stuff that you don't want. And you can just hit the um, selection tool. And um, you can just do again with the text. You just add a drop shadow if you like, and a stroke, or you can just change it to white or whatever color you prefer. You can actually um, make it into a gr a gradient layer, like change like the colors of it, and just have it whatever you have it like reversed, have it like that. Or it doesn't really matter and you can have it like you know change where it was have it like have like radio where like the black is in the middle and the white is in the, you know like that it all like it all like you know um, depends on your flow T whatever you like I'm not gonna use the late um, the Sims 4 logo so don't eat that so okay this is what I do mainly and um, what I do is um, I go all the way down to the bottom when, I, when I'm done and um, I right click wait yeah I right click and I go to flatten image now all the layers you just added on there is now into one image I think it was better because you know it's everything's together and um, it saves properly when you're when everything's together. Now, um, to for the coloring, I like I I will sometimes leave it like this if I wanted to. I will sometimes leave it like this, or I will download action like 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 Photoshop action like for coloring and. Um, that's what I mainly do and uh, I download all my um, I download all of my uh, actions from deviant.com once again I'll have the link in the description and um, 
I just choose a color for liking. So far, I'm liking this one. Uh, um, like all of it's all random, so I already don't know. Like this, like that, and you just click the color you like, and you just hit the little play button, and it's all the color is all there now. And I just, you know, flatten an image so everything's all together. Sometimes I would go back to filter, go to sharpen, and I do sharpen edges. That's if I want a more crisp look, which I do like it like this. But um, that's all I do basically for my, you know, um, for my thumbnails. It's not really like dramatic or anything, not really difficult or, not, well not really difficult, but like, it's not like what most people expect and stuff like that, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed and um, thank you for watching, see you guys next time, bye bye.